Good, sir. Well, uh, first of all, people clap before you said anything. My first reaction is to just sit down because it won't get any better than that. <laughs> Thank you very much for a very kind introduction. I, I hope that I someday manage to earn all the wonderful credit you've given me. Uh, I guess I should point out something about the internet. This is not something that one or two people do. It's something that lots and lots of people do. And they do it because they want to. They're motivated to do it. And although I worked hard to sell this idea in the early stages, early, I learned very early on that engineering, successful engineering, is not just engineering. It's learning how to sell ideas and get other people to want to participate. But somehow this idea just grabbed a lot of people. It was an opportunity to do something. There were a lot of things about this network and the way it was architected and the way the institutions associated with it grew up that invited people to contribute. On, in terms of the number of users on the net, all, I mean, there's no one place where you have to sign up, right? So we really don't know how many people are using it. But the estimates from Internet World Stat say about 2.4 billion users uh, back in mid-year last year. My guess is it's probably closer to 3 billion now because there are internet cafes or people who share uh, equipment and the like and just don't quite know how, uh, how many different people are using the same uh, piece of equipment. But even at 2.4 billion, it's a pretty big number. That means that there's on the order of 1.2, 1.3 billion smartphones in the system that also have access to and can exercise uh, the power of the internet. So all of that uh, statistical information tells us that we are penetrating but certainly, uh, by no means, uh, everywhere. If I had shown you this slide 10 years ago, uh, the numbers would be pretty dramatically different. North America would be at the top of the list of penetration and absolute number of users. But as you can see, that's not true anymore. The number of users in Asia is now over a billion. Half of them are in mainland China. So I want you to keep in mind that despite all the things we hear about uh, the Chinese uh, the firewalls and uh, limitations and censorship and everything else, much of which is true, uh, and maybe even some of the other cyber attacks also, uh, which are probably true. There's a huge investment there in internet. Now, I have this, you know, half, the cup is half full view about that. I think that the more internet penetrates, the harder it is to keep people from sharing information. And eventually, society simply has to adapt to this change in the ecosystem. So I, I hope, it's like the, uh, the Grand Canyon, you know, it probably took about 400 million years ago from a from a mesa to this deep valley. Now, I hope it doesn't take 400 million years for the Chinese to get to the point where they're comfortable uh, with the sharing of information. But you know what? Patience counts in this, in this domain. Just get more internet out there, keep investing in it, and eventually the population will change in it. Uh, you know, that's a substantial So now they're struggling through the process of which domain name should be allowed, which one shouldn't, and there are uh, domain name system, but it's off to the left, so it's something.org.